Hello my dear learners welcome to a new story telling session here at skillfident with your mentor namita this english listening podcast will not just help you improve your english speaking skills but will also help you in developing a growth mindset which is very important for coming out of your comfort zone in order to accomplish your dreams and goals you can consider switching on the subtitles by clicking on cc above also you can increase or decrease the speed of audio based on your understanding and as always in the end you are going to assign a beautiful title for the story and type it in the comments so i'm not giving you any name for the story but this story is going to be a very inspirational and motivational one so let's start listening to this lovely story a water bearer in china had two large pots each hung on the ends of a pole which he carried across his neck one of the pots had a crack in it while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the house the cracked pot always arrived only half full for a full 2 years this went on daily with the bearer delivering only one and a half pots full of water to his house of course the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishments for it was perfect and always arrived full and brimming with fresh water but the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it was able to accomplish only half of what it had been made to do after 2 years of what it perceived to be a bitter failure the crack pot spoke to the water bearer one day by the stream i am ashamed of myself said the crack pot i want to apologize to you i have been able to deliver only half my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your house because of my flaws you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value from your efforts the bearer said to the pot did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path but not on the other pot side that's because i have always known about your perfect flaw so i planted flower seeds on your side of the path and every day while we walk back you have watered them for 2 years i have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my table without you being just the way you are there would not be this beauty to grace my house isn't this the same which happens with all of us we always keep thinking about our flaws does this happen with you my friend stop being unhappy with yourself you are perfect stop wishing you looked like someone else or wishing people liked you as much as they like someone else 
Stop trying to get attention from those who hurt you. Stop hating your body, your face, your personality, your quirks. Love them. Without those things, you wouldn't be you. And why would you want to be anyone else? Be confident with who you are. Smile. It'll draw people in. And if anyone hates you, then you simply say this to yourself. That my happiness will not depend on anyone anymore. I'm happy because I love who I am. I love my flaws. I love my imperfections. They make me me. And I am pretty amazing. You deserve the affection that you keep trying to pour into others. You deserve the same motivation that you try to give other people. You deserve the high of happy without the low of sadness. You deserve the joy of being spoiled without the catch of having to repay. You deserve the relaxation of trust without the paranoia of betrayal. You deserve to be confident without the reminder to be humble. You deserve to look at your reflection with eyes of awe, not judgment. You deserve to be held forever. You deserve to have everything you want. You deserve this power. It is who you are and who you will always be. So simply stay true to yourself. Don't worry about what people think of you or about the way they try to make you feel. If people want to see you as a good person, they will. If they want to see you as a bad person, then absolutely nothing you do will stop them. Ironically, the more you try to show them your good intentions, the more reason you give them to knock you down. If they are committed to misunderstanding you. Keep your head up high and be confident in what you do. Be confident in your intentions and keep your eyes ahead. Instead of wasting your time on those who want to drag you back. Because you can't change people's views. You have to believe that true change for yourself comes from within you, not from anyone else. You know what? I have learned certain things from this life. I have learned that sometimes the darkest times can bring us the brightest places. That our most painful struggles can grant us the most necessary growth. And that the most heartbreaking losses of friendship and love can make room for the most wonderful people. I have learned that what seems like a curse at the moment can actually be a blessing. And that what seems like the end of the road is actually just the discovery that we are meant to travel down a different path. I have learned that no matter how difficult things seem, there is always hope. And I have learned that no matter how powerless we feel or how horrible things seem, we can't give up. We have to keep going, even when it's scary, even when all our strength seems gone. We have to keep picking ourselves back up and moving forward because whatever we are battling in the moment, it will pass and we will make it through. We have made it this far. We can make it through whatever comes next. 
we simply have to understand that this life isn't fair. No matter what life throws your way, no matter how unfair it may seem, refuse to play the victim. Refuse to be ruled by fear, pessimism and negativity. Refuse to quit. Be a warrior and walk through whatever life throws your way with courage, love and positivity. And continually push forward because you are a survivor of the unfairness of life. You are stronger than you think and you are capable of achieving far more than you believe. I have this faith that you can rise up from anything. You can completely recreate yourself. Nothing is permanent. You are not stuck. You have choices. You can think new thoughts. You can learn something new. You can create new habits. All that matters is that you decide today and never look back. I hope you have got today's lesson in a wonderful manner. And on this positive note, I'm going to end today's session here. I'll see you in my next audio lesson. Till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye for now.